We will now demonstrate the subassembly process. This is a one-time process and all the parts installed will stay on the machine. An assist crane will be required to complete the subassembly. First we will install the live mast and reeve the boom hoist cable. Clean the bushings on the mast of any dirt or grime and apply a coat of clean grease. Use blocking as needed to support the mast push arms and then remove the mast push arm pins. Lift the mast using the lugs at the mast tip. The total weight of the mast is about 6,110 pounds. Install the mast mounting pins and secure them with the locks. Now lower the mast back to the storage position and rest it on the gantry. Then position the boom hoist wire rope reel at the rear of the crane for installation. Number the sheaves on the mast and the lower spreader as illustrated on the reeving diagram found in the operations and maintenance manual. Reeve the boom hoist wire through the upper and lower spreader assembly, following the reeving diagram. Secure one end of the cable to the boom drum with the wedge. Now connect the mast gantry control box to the receptacle on the right side of the machine. Place the three-way selector switch in the cab to the gantry position. Use the hand throttle to set the engine RPM to about 1000. Turn the power switch on the control box on. Move the right and left gantry control switches to the raise position. Fully raise the gantry and install the locking pins. Now move the mast assist arm cylinder switch to the extend position. Raise the mast slowly and make sure the wire rope does not become loose on the spool as the mast is being raised. The assist crane will then catch the mast after it has passed 90 degrees. Then lower the mast to remove the remaining wire rope from the spool. Connect the other end of the wire rope to the boom drum with the wedge. Pull the wire rope and make sure the wedge is properly set on both boom hoist drums. Keep the wire rope tight on the drum when taking up excess cable. Connect the cable for the mast angle sensor to the connector on the main machine. Then install the anti-two block harness and guards from the mast tip to the right side of the mast foot. Connect this harness to the existing harness at the mast foot pin. And install the counterweight lifting brackets onto the counterweight base. Then install the two counterweight connecting links onto the counterweight tray. Continue to install the two work lights, mirrors, and wiper blades. If the machine is equipped with an optional reeving winch, install the rollers to the winch and on the boom base and the boom point section. Place the load chart and operator's manual in the cab. Cabelco also provides a fire extinguisher that should be kept in the cab. This concludes the sub-assembly section of this video.